Peace family. My name is Vicki Diller for African Diaspora and his channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up and share the broadcast. When you do that, it triggers the algorithm so other folks will know that we're here. Thank you so very much. And by the way, family, I don't know if you've heard about it yet. We have our own app. Yes, African Diaspora News. We have our own app. It can be accessible anywhere around the world. Be sure to download it. Be sure to subscribe. Tell everybody that you know about it. This helps to expand our voice. And how many of you all know it's so important um, to elevate and to support uh, networks like this one that's speaking for issues that matter to you? Talk black to me, somebody. In addition, of course, you know, we're a counter voice to the oppressive class. So that's so, so very important that you help to uh, keep us going there and making uh, enjoying uh, this new platform that we've made available just for you. Thank you so very much, family. You all know I've been doing back-to-back -back nonstop coverage related to this unbelievable migrant crisis that has literally taken over the country here in the United States in multiple cities. Chicago has really been standing out because they have been pushing back in some of the most effective ways, so dangerous to Black citizens there that the Democrat Party, the authoritarian Democrat Party, have done everything that they can to prevent, frustrate, full stop, and to silence and punish their own Black citizens because they have been objecting to um, the illegal entrance of folks that are coming from different parts of the world who might pose multiple dangers to their families and communities. And of course, we understand that the United States and specifically in this case, of course, Chicago has been making actual monetary resources available to them, non-citizens who violated the law without having first made economic and tangible resources available for citizens. Now, that's a shame. You can't jump around and find housing for months on end for folks that violated the law to get here for non-citizens. but Then you can step over a black veteran. You can have a black family shipped to another city because they can't afford to live there anymore because you won't give them a voucher. But we're spending billions of dollars making sure that they have economic resources. That's outrageous. Well, you all know I've been discussing the fact that some of the governmental leaders in these different cities and states like Chicago and like New York and others have had to come out and admit that some of the migrants are actually bringing infirmities, illnesses and sicknesses to these particular uh, cities and states, right? Specifically, here's a quote from Brandon Johnson recently when he said, people are showing up in very extreme circumstances, very, very unhealthy. I want you to hear me good. They are showing up sick, Johnson said. Monday, this is this article from a few weeks ago. Do you do you hear me? They are showing up sick. So I want you to keep that in mind that he admits this, right? And the fact that in some of the shelters there, as this article specifically says, um, that such diseases, there have been clusters of illnesses at shelters where people sleep on clots close to each other, including chicken pots, hand, foot, and mouth disease. But there's some other stuff that's come out since this, and this uh, uh, since this as well, related to infestations of roaches. And that piece that I talked about recently, which uh, you should be able to check that video out here soon on uh, African Diaspora News Channel, where they got an, uh, a Freedom of Information Act, which is a legal document so they can access certain documents that maybe are not readily accessible to the public, where emails show that city officials were actually aware of roach infestations other illnesses and sewage and all kinds of madness in these migrant shelters almost a couple of months before that five-year-old child ended up passing away. Now, remember, I brought up long ago uh, when I started to cover the sicknesses after the mayor admitted it, I started to say, well, I wonder how long they knew about it. And I've been asking, I wonder, do the citizens need to talk to an attorney about suing their city and their government officials for not taking the necessary precautions to protect the population? Watch this. This has not stopped them. I mean, this is an absolute scandal that's going on throughout the country. But again, particularly with Chicago. Watch this. One of the Chicago um, state representative, Representative LaShawn Foy, is a Democrat from Chicago. You all, he said, watch this. This is how bad this is. 
that the state rep said, Illinois State Representative LaShawn Ford said, told the uh, center square that arriving migrants need to undergo a health screening. Watch what he says. If we're going to be a welcoming city, then we need to first welcome them to the health department, Ford said. <laughs> Family, look, this is a real crisis. I'm not trying to make light of this, but oh my God. Ford said, not only are they a risk, but we we stand the risk of viruses and diseases crossing the border. Now, family, I've been talking about this the moment that these emissions start to come out, right? So if the state representative, LaShawn Ford, is coming out saying, and I quote, if we're going to be a welcoming city, <laughs> this is some real shade, ain't it? then we need to first welcome them to the health department. Family, that tells you we're in a crisis. And there are multiple agendas going, of which I'm going to be talking about in one of my offline webinars. You can get that information later at vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I planet.com. Family, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this. I feel like that this statement would be a wonderful bit of evidence and give merit to a substantive legal case, of course, I'm not an attorney, I'm saying for you all to talk to an attorney. But it sounds to me that this state representative has come out to say what? Quote, I'm quoting the state representative, the one who's responsible for making laws and setting policy. He says, quote, not only are they a risk, but we stand the risk of viruses and diseases crossing the border. Black Chicago, I want to hear below what y'all think needs to be done about this. Okay, here was uh, here. Can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. I'm telling that's something else. He said, we're going to be a welcoming city. But he said, we need to welcome them to the health department. God, today. Y'all, that's my Mississippi. I'm being silly, but I had to share that bit of news. You know we're in the midst of a serious uh, 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 scandal that's going on with this migrant crisis. My name is Vicki Diller, beloved. Be sure to share the broadcast for African Diaspora News Channel. I can't wait to see you again.